Madam Speaker. <clears throat> it's my pleasure to rise today and introduce to you and through you to all members of our assembly, Ms. Cindy Blackstock. I have had the great pleasure of getting to know Ms. Blackstock over the past year as we work towards our shared goal of protecting the rights of indigenous children. Cindy Blackstock is a member of Gitskin First Nation, a social worker with 25 years of experience working to improve the lives of children, and the director of First Nation Children's Action Research and Education Service. I was prou proud to bring greetings this morning to the YESS Allies and Youth Conference in Edmonton, at which Ms. Blackstock was the key keynote speaker. I'm always moved when I hear about the work she is doing. Ms. Blackstock is a furious and tireless advocate for youth who sometimes believe our society isn't there for them. As we continue to work through the heartbreaking stories of indigenous, indigenous youth in crisis, I'm so thankful that those often without hope or a voice have Cindy Blackstock on their side. <coughs> the recent landmark Canadian Human Rights Tribunal ruling on, on the case brought forward by Ms. Blackstock after nine years of fighting and speaking for those who cannot for themselves is just one example of the tremendous difference she is making in the lives of these children across Canada. As this case demonstrates, there is much work to be done both within and across governments to ensure the health, safety, and well-being of Indigenous children. And I look forward to continuing this important work with our colleagues and other orders, orders of government, our Indigenous partners, and of course with Ms. Blackstock, who is a leader and an inspiration to all those who seek to make a difference in the lives of Indigenous children. I ask Ms. Blackstock to please rise and receive the traditional warm welcome of this assembly.